want to go into a Zephyr. I used to work at the plant. <laughs> Look at all these windows. Okay. <laughs> when we go around this corner up here, just you'll feel the coach lean over. Okay. Take a screwdriver and just turn it and it pops right off. Use the rest of the year to just shut it off. I watch your show every morning. Oh, great. Awesome. Thank, you. Thank you. I love you guys. You're from at the bottom of my face. <laughs> <laughs>
vans, and I uh, think we're going to bypass them today. I'm thinking so. But we'll give you a little sneak peek of a few of them here. One, two, depending on how many Michelle will let me look at. This has a nice, uh, a nice finish to the interior here. We've got this table that swings around. This is really nice. So, how you can swing that around. And, Use it wherever you want. TV, small little fridge there. Lots of storage. I like to push out button type. Lock, lock it by pushing it in. Your control panel. Some microwave. Small bathroom. Uh, nice. Little storage up in, above here. You want to look at any more? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to move on. Are we? Mm -hmm. That's going to do it for vans today, I think. Unless we find something else later. Maybe a B plus. That would be a plus. So next, we're going to see the 2020 Globetrotter 20 RB model. Okay. Well, right away, really love all the seating in here. We put this on wide mode. Ultra wide. So we can get more of the idea of this. Big long table. Love the space. Um, cabinets. Something I like about Airstream is the style, the build quality. You got storage underneath as well. Sale price of $114,860. Now with this long table, we could actually make that work for uh, workspace. Smaller TV. I like this uh, countertop to the big sink. Oh jeez. Maybe that's what you can put a trash can well, in there. I think that's what this is. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's true. That There's the trash. All the thirty foot or two, so it's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Quality of those drawers yeah, feels really good. Very... Small storage, a convection oven. It's very convection microwave. Three burns, so. Yeah. They light up when you open them. That's really nice. The fridge. It's a decent sized fridge. Yes. Probably what we have now. A tad bigger. The freezer is a little bit deeper than ours. Yeah. Your closet. You're not going to have your washer and dryer, but you do have this curtain here. Mm -hmm. Bathroom. We got some nice countertop space in here. Mm -hmm. Nice long space in the cabinet yeah, down and here. Over yeah. there. And in there. Reminds me of a uh, door for an airplane. airplane. Yeah. You can spit it out there. The shower. It's a little small, but definitely could make it work. That's no problem. <laughs> you plan My, on sitting in there? <laughs> maybe. God, it was a rough day. <laughs> Man, that sits really low, though. Okay, moving on. All right, well, that was a little comfortable. Bring it on in here. This is really nice. You got plenty of room um, to get on both sides of the bed, which is more room than what we have in ours. Oh, yeah, definitely. We don't. And then still ours is really cramped on the sides, getting in and out of the bed. Nice cover um, storage up there. Got a little TV over here. Just waiting for Tesla to build that truck that'll pull it. <laughs> Very nice. On to the next. Thank you. Thank you very much. You got tons of money to spend. Go over to the Prevos. We 
they've noticed at four o'clock people start to leave so then it's easier for you to look at some of these models and, and, uh, and take your time yeah. and go through everything um, without hordes of people trying to get in your way so. right yeah and in the mornings especially if you know a certain area you want to go to well you can bypass everything and go like if it's in the back go away to the back and get there before everybody else gets there so you can kind of bypass the crowd but uh, we're gonna first off we're gonna stop here and just take a look at a smaller uh, a super seat a 34 foot Ready to move on? Yes. Oh my goodness. That's funny. There are rows and rows and rows of RVs, isn't there? Tons and tons. Over huh? 1,600 RVs are here, I think. We're also thinking about a smaller fifth wheel. Um, it's plenty of room for the two of us. Look at all these windows. No, huge windows, lots of sunlight. Oh, the have a, uh, on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come back and pick me up later. What kind of photographer are you? Wait before you leave. <laughs> I can't, I'm the branch manager. Oh. Uh, I used to work at the plant. <laughs> How many Lines? leaf and tree jokes did he have to come up with? I don't know, but I was first. <laughs> Zephyr. We're right in our budget. Yeah, right. Okay. So 
Okay. Oh, it's got a wine with her drinker. Uh, but the, uh, the other cabinets are. Oh, this side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One big safe is to put your other six hundred thousand dollars yeah. if it fit. We have to do it in diamonds or gold bars. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Oh that's a plastic toilet. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas time is where I get all this from. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you gotta use the rest of the year to just shut it off. been a crazy day and we're not finished yet it's a little after three in the afternoon and uh, we still haven't made it around the entire place this uh, you need it at least two days at least it's a great place to come and and uh, find 
what it is you're looking for, even if you don't, if you're like us and don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to figure out what is that yeah. best option. Yeah. It's it's very tough, and it was just like when we first started this lifestyle. It was very tough for us to decide what we wanted to do. Maybe, actually, it was probably easier only because of the fact that I had this childhood dream of having a Class A because we almost went to a fifth wheel. And because of that dream, I just didn't feel right, so we went with the Class A, and which we loved. It's just uh, we're not happy with the floor plan, and we kind of like to get a little bit smaller living space for the two of us because we've seen a lot of floor plans that are smaller than what we have, yet makes better sense of the floor space so we're kind of feeling like we're getting cheated having 40 foot yeah, and right. not having a good space yeah. so all right well we're going to go back out in the madness and uh finish this day up and maybe find some popcorn popcorn for supper <laughs> you said anything about supper oh ice cream then yeah they don't have pie here honey you don't. Hey. business right here from your own home. <laughs> thing I learned today is on the back of our Onan 8000 diesel generator that there is a belt on the back side of the generator that lasts either 10 years or 1,000 hours. 1,000 hours? Okay. If you're going to go to the expense of tearing metal off to get to the belt, uh -huh. change the temp sender sensor, which is right up there okay. where that wire is connected. Oh. Yeah. It's, it corrodes with time and temp. It's a tw another $20 item. If you're going to go to the expense of doing this, do both of it. It's a $20 belt. It's a non a non release belt, so it's a tensioner. It has its own tensioner. Okay. Take a screwdriver and just turn it and it pops right off, put the new one on. It's not hard to do. Okay. You've got these back 10 millimeter bolts that you have to take off. Right along here, take the roll off to the front, lift it up a little bit, slide this out. And then you can get to that belt, but you have to have a slide. If you don't have a slide, typically you have to drop it out. I had guys with, with 1,500 hours on it, never change the belt. So it's the belts are, you, can, you know, go to your, your dealer that you deal with and get the belt and the temp, and the, uh, temp sensor and it's worth it if you're gonna do one, do it both. Let me oh. say it again. We don't like no. The battery's dead. Rick. Rick, nice to meet you. Hi, Diane. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. To meet nice you. To meet nice you. Here. Yeah. Watch your show every morning. Oh, great. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. I'd love great to hear guys. that. You guys do a great job. Oh, my God. 5.30. And we're trying to hoof it. Literally, I feel like my feet are hooked right now. They are so... 
Oh All right, my God. we are. We are hooving it <laughs> over to Grand Design before they close down. <laughs> today is my last day. Today is the last day of the uh, whole event. Uh, after all this, everybody's going to take everything down. I will not be there to take all of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is about as much movement as you're really going to get out of this coach. I mean, that's about as much body roll as you're going to get. Yeah, this one has liquid spring. It should ride even a little better with some weight in it, shouldn't it? Yeah, it will get a little better. You just push those up and down. This will change the modes. So, see how as soon as I did that, you felt the coach mo roll more? Yeah. So, oh, you go to the right. It gives you a little more, more speed. Yeah, it's just it's the speed at which the valves are reacting. How's the longevity on the, the system? Well, our, our big market is uh, emergency vehicles. Mm -hmm. and we've been in that for about seven years. We have... A lot of vehicles out there with 300,000 miles or more on on the liquid spring. Is there air pressure involved? No, no air whatsoever. No. It is strictly a fluid based. So it's a five link compressible liquid suspension. Uh -huh. And what it's doing is you've got a big volume on the frame rail that has the fluid in it. It's, it's actually loading the suspension by the weight of the coach. It, that's what's giving us the pressure. The only time we have a pump under there, the only time we use it is when we're pumping or dumping, lifting or lowering. And as you're going down the road, it's just basically compressing that fluid, which gives you the soft ride. As soon as an event happens, we're sensing speed, steering, braking, and ride height. As soon as an event happens, it has a, a modulating valve on there. It'll start backing off the amount of fluid available to compress, which ramps the spring rates up. And it does that in about 40 milliseconds. So you don't really feel it do anything other than it just, you, you feel the coach, it'll move once and stop. When we go around this corner up here, just. You'll feel the coach lean over and it'll get to a certain point and it won't go any further, it just stops. Because it's ramped the spring rate up because our system is saying, hey, we're leaning, we're turning. So those amber lights on the driver interface, when he turns the wheel, you'll see them go out. As soon as those go out, he's turning more than 20 degrees. The suspension is actually ramping up at that point. How far do you want me to go? Oh, we're gonna go get on the freeway. Oh. Don't you want to really drive? <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, I figure if we're going go go to go for a ride, let's go for a ride. Driver interface is shiftable on the fly. It's just a software change, so you can change it anytime you want. The Ford chassis, what drives the Ford chassis is the rear suspension. I mean, it really is. And there's there's another one out there we can take for a spin if you'd like to see how a standard has, suspension drives. You're, because yeah. the tail end's wagging around. When you do that, watch what the tail of this coach does. It follows right behind you versus a normal motorhome where you get some of that tail wag out of it. I mean, this is an automotive style suspension. The four link is basically automotive and that's why it drives the way it does. If you want a Prevo, well, I'll check the price again here when I'm finished. This is what you would get. So this is what you get, and then you have a heck of a project. You got one heck of a good chassis, for starters. You can see the, the slide out system, the insulation. Down here, we'll be able to tell how thick it is. I believe it's a one inch insulation. It's like a small drive shaft, exactly what it is, for the bed and the slide, basically the slide for the bed. 
But right here, you can tell how thick it is. About a one inch thick foam insulation. The floors are all screwed in. You can design it exactly the way you want and have your own brand new Prevo. Let's go look at the outside and find out what that price is. Uh, six seventy-five as it says. Six seventy-five. Okay, yes. thanks. So there you heard it, six hundred and seventy-five thousand, and you can have your own project before spending any money on your project. Some massive storage. But those bays, it's just like your tour buses that has a huge storage capacity. So that would be a really fun project if you won the lottery. But then again, if you won the lottery, I'm not doing any of the work myself. I'm gonna buy one of these. Well, I think we're gonna try to get out of here. It's the last day here, Sunday. And we did it. Yes, we did it. Three days. Gained a couple hooves over the whole thing, but we did it. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to get out of here before all the traffic decides to get out of here at the same time. We are hoping that no cars blocked us in. I don't know. So I we'll can, see. I can see Vinny from here and there's quite mm. a bit around us. Yeah, there is. Mm. We'll see. Mm. But thanks for joining us on this journey and trotting along with us. <laughs> No pun intended, of course. Catch you guys in the next video. We're headed to the Florida... I'll try that again. It is a madhouse here at the Tampa State Fairgrounds. Tampa State? What? We're going to try to move up and get a closer parking spot. Only if you're cooking. This got up in your face. Oh wait, the camera's over here. I got to remember to look over here. Fridge area. There, what the heck? They called us a fridge area. <laughs> and I'm what out. a day. I, I'm tired and this is passed out. These horsies are going to get on their way. And away we go. What is it? Make sure y'all subscribe, subscribe to Live in Our Vision. Live in Our Vision. Okay. <laughs> Make, Make sure y'all sure subscribe, subscribe to Live in Our, our Vision. vision. All right. <laughs>